So eight years after Johnny English, filmmakers thought it would be a good idea to make a sequel. Ah, to think this character started out in a Barclay card advert. In 2011, I thought it would be a good idea to watch this film because of my love for Dominic West. I must have completely forgot everything about the film and decided to give the film another watch. So here we are. Writer Hamish McCall took over from the previous three writers with William Davies coming back to write the story and McCall only having done Mr Bean's Holiday before this went on to write the story for Paddington and the screenplay for the 2016 Dad's Army. So the positive to this is that he seems to understand Rowan Atkinson's comedic style better than the previous writers. An example of this is when Rowan Atkinson responds to your grandmother is sick with a Blackadder style quip. I laughed and then I never laughed again. Something me and Dan Jensen touched upon in our Get Smart review, go watch it, go watch it now and then go to Dan Jensen's channel, do it, do it. <laughs> we picked up that we've seen it all when it comes to the spoof spy genre, especially those that really concentrate on the James Bond aspect. And Johnny English Reborn adds nothing new to the table, just regurgitating jokes that we've just seen so many times before. But here's a fun fact for you. Rowan Atkinson and Rosamund Pike's feature film debuts began in James Bond films. Never Say Never Again for Atkinson and Die Another Day for Pike. Dominic West plays Simon Ambrose, a possible nod to Sean Ambrose from Mission Impossible 2. So you kind of know where it's going. Daniel Kalula has replaced Ben Miller as Johnny English psychic in this one. And it's a good job he got that Black Mirror gig the same year because he might have struggled with his career because it was such early on. And I'm really surprised that Gillian Anderson got the gig on the fall after appearing in this film in that type of agent role. As I got towards the end of the film, I started to realise the reason why I couldn't remember the film from back in 2011 was because I think I fell asleep. But who can blame me? Oh, the film, it's incredibly boring. It has zero laughs apart from that one I mentioned earlier. And I really struggled to keep myself awake re-watching it again. It, it was a task. Thanks for watching, be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell, like the video and leave your thoughts and feelings in the comment box below on Johnny English Reborn.